Based on true events, the film Devotion is an epic and inspirational story of two elite naval pilots who were instrumental in turning the tide in the most brutal battle of the Korean War. These heroic men and friends were Jesse Brown, the first black aviator in U.S. Navy history, and fellow fighter pilot Tom Hunter. Here's a look at Devotion. They made me do it ten times. They dumped ice in the water, put weights in my flight suit, but every time I made it out, I can't tell you how many times people have told me to give up, quit. That's why you can't always do what you're told. So our, uh, today, out today is a special release of the movie on digital 4K, Ultra HD, and Blu-ray. And here to talk about the making of the film and some never-before-seen footage is the director, J.D. Dillard. So good morning, J.D. Thanks for being here. Good morning, y'all. Thanks for having me. A important story to tell. So tell us about these two specific men, right, J.D., and, and why their story may not be very well known. You know, it's it's funny when I when I came across the story for the first time, I was just struck by how dramatic and and beautiful, and I think you know, in, in indicative of the stories we need to hear today, how how much so it was, and you know, I kind of cried my way through it, not yeah. just because you know there was so much that existed between these two, mm. and obviously what Jesse did, being the Navy's first black aviator, um, I, I felt that needed to be told today. But you know, my I have a personal connection to the story. Uh, through my dad, who 30 years behind Jesse, was also a naval aviator. So I saw so much overlap between Jesse's story and my father's that uh, uh, it just felt like uh, an important one to be telling. And your father, though, he, he was the second African-American member of the U.S. Navy's Blue Angels? He was, um, which was, uh, you know, he, he's certainly a lot cooler than I am, but uh, <laughs> I, I've gotten comfortable with that. But uh, literally, my first memories are are around air shows and around these planes. So, um, you know, cer certainly gave me the opportunity to tell the story with love. Well, speaking of those memories, if, uh, if our research is correct, it included burning your hand on an F-18 <laughs> Hornet. So, so how old were you? What happened there? And, and you know, did that scar you? Um, literally, my first memory in my entire life is being in his arms and that hot nose after the air show uh, oh. burning my hand as I um, sort of stupidly reached out beyond him. But, you know, uh, I won't blame myself for being two and a half years old. Yeah. Oh, you're um, right, two and a half. <laughs> but... Um, but yeah, I mean, all, all of my earliest memories are around, you know, Navy bases. We lived between Virginia Beach and mm -hmm. Pensacola for, you know, the first chapters of my life. But, you know, I, I had always grown up looking, uh, you know, looking at my dad in and around these planes and, and to, to, to be able to come back to, to Jesse's story 30 years behind him. I mean, and find those, that common ground um, was just really, really special. Yeah, I did watch the film. And there were some pretty energizing and exciting flight scenes. And this special release coming out, though, today, you have a lot to, you have lots of never before, never before seen footage of the film, uh, behind the scenes stuff. So let's take a look at first time, a uh, first look at actor Jonathan Majors, actually in flight school. We'll talk about it on the other side. There were multiple days I would go up, I would come down, and I would go back to bed. And then, then I'd wake up, and it'd be time to go up again. And what we did allowed me to have so much more respect for any aviator. It is a unnatural thing. One, it starts feeling natural. Like, once you start getting the hang of it, it's very addictive. So what went into flying? Were they actually flying in some of these scenes? So for a number of sequences, yeah, we, um, we, we, we took an old plane called the Sea Fury um, and we painted the back half of it to look like the, the, the planes that were appearing in the film. Wow. Um, and that way we could, we could put the actors in the back seat while having stunt pilot, pilots fly up front. Wow. Um, but it gives this quality of realism, obviously, that you really want in a film like this. Yeah. So uh, yeah, quite, quite, a, quite a few maneuvers that... Um, Glenn and Jonathan uh, got to do on their own, uh, which, you know, uh, you, you can kind of you can kind of tell when you see it. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's beautifully shot. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and what's so important, too, is is the realness of it all, because you brought the family of both pilots to the making of this film. So what did you learn from their their, their loved ones that was essential to to helping tell the story? 
Yeah, I mean, look, it's the the the, the tricky thing about telling a story that has now taken place so uh, so long ago is, you know, I had never had the opportunity to meet Jesse or Tom, but you you see so much of who these men were through who their families are, you know, their 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 care, you know, their compassion and their 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 kindness, and you know, e even though I couldn't sit down with Jesse and Tom uh, to see the impact that they have left on their families and and to have those families with us just you know um it, it, it was always good to to leave a reminder that you know i and we as the filmmaking team you know are guests to their legacy yeah. um but this is this is their story and you know and we were just excited to get to share it with more people yeah what are you hoping that the audiences come away with after watching this movie you know, I would say it's it's really just it's two things. Well, it's it's so many things. Like I hope people enjoy it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a uh, it's it's so it's. Uh, I would say the two the two biggest things is one. You know, this is just an example of what it really looks like to be there for someone. You know, and and being there for someone can be a a, a complicated and, and and nuanced thing, and, and you have to show up for people in the way that they need you. You know, in a way that doesn't take away their agency. Um, and that can look different from one person to the next, you know. And then I think the other piece, which is is um, still quite a bit urgent, um, is to bring Jesse home. Exactly. Um, you know, Jesse is uh, 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 still overseas, and his his family has never had that closure. And wow. you know, one one goal in getting to to share the story with more people is hopefully, you know, uh, to, to to sort of put more fire in the effort yeah. of, um, of returning Jesse, repatriating Jesse to the United States. Yes, yeah. both Tom and Jesse's families continuing that search. Yeah, yeah. JD, absolutely. J.D., thanks so much for talking with us this morning about the film. Thanks for having me, y'all. Yeah, of course. And Devotion is out today on digital, 4K, Ultra HD, and Blu-ray with behind-the-scenes bonuses as well. And it is also streaming on Paramount+. Plus.